All right, we are back, and today we're talking about cards you should not be buying right now. You should probably be used to this, because we've been talking about different cards you should not be buying for a variety of reasons for several months now. For First of all, you've had the tins coming out, so those cards were getting a reprint. You have a looming ban list, so that's going to impact cards that you should not be buying. And in addition to that, you have the Rarity Collection, which is right on the horizon, which also is going to give us some cards that we should probably not be buying right now. So we are past the tins, um, but that doesn't mean that the ban list is not still there, and it doesn't mean that the Rarity Collection is not still there. So there are a lot of cards that we need to be very careful uh, out in our purchases because you don't want to be wasting money on cards that are going to get hit on the ban list or cards that are going to get reprinted. So you want to be aware of cards that could fall into either one of those categories. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Cards that you probably want to avoid buying at this moment. So we are going to do the giveaway winners on the next video for these. This is a, a, a pack of cards from the tins. Um, I think I think this one is missing the dark, uh, but you're going to get all six of these, the winners. So keep that in mind. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment on that last video I did, cards you should be buying. Now, let's get into the cards you should not be buying. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Would love for you to be a part of the community and Hit that like button. It does help us out a lot. It's amazing how much that like button helps. So, and I just want to thank you all for doing it so consistently. All right, let's jump into these cards that you should not be buying. I'm going to bring them up on TCG Player, and then we're going to move. Um, we're going to move through them. So let me bring this up. Here we go. All right. So the first thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to look at potential cards that are going to land on the ban list and it's not just cards that are going to be banned it's cards that are going to be limited as well and i am not good at guessing the ban list i'm just not uh, it's it's not something that i'm that i'm skilled at but i am pretty decent at trying to figure out what kind of cards are going to get hit on the ban list so i'll give you an example of that I think Runic is going to get hit in some way. So is it going to be Fountain or is it going to be Tip? I don't know. But I do think that the Runic cards are going to get hit. So what I'm saying is, if I were you, I would not be going all in on these Runic cards building this deck until you see what's going to happen on the ban list. Because they could get a very small minor hit and you're fine. Or that that deck could get completely annihilated. They could hit tip and fountain <laughs> and that's really going to hurt. So trying to figure out what they're going to hit, I don't know. But I do think Runic is going to get hit in some regard. So I would be a little uneasy about spending a lot of money on these cards. So that's the first one right off the bat. Um, moving on from there, you move right over to the Bestial cards. We're pretty sure that something is going to get hit with the Bestials. My bet is on um, potentially... Uh, Lubelion going to two, and I know that that's, that doesn't happen very often, but I'm going to say Lubelion going to two, and maybe Magna Hut going to one, maybe something like that. Um, so I would not be going all in on these cards as well. I do think Druis Worm is probably a little bit safe as well as Baldrake, um, but you never know what's going to get hit. But I think it's just a good practice 
to identify the decks that you think are going to get hit, especially if those are decks that you're interested in building. And with the tins just coming out, there's a lot of people interested in building these decks that are facing the ban list, like Runic, like um, Dragon Link with the Bestials, or even just a, a Bestial deck. Um, just being aware that these cards may very well be hit. So, hey, if you pulled two Lebellions, I'm if I were you, I might just sit on that um, and see what happens. If you've got one Magna Hut, maybe just sit on that, see what happens. Um, so, moving on from there, you go to Kashtira. Pretty sure Kashtira is going to get hit in some regard. But I'm a little bit different than a lot of people on this. I think the hit in Kashtira is going to be Birth. I think Birth is going to get hit. And then I think you might actually see a Rise Heart completely banned. And, and where I'm a little bit different is I think you might see Fenrir stick around. So... I'm not recommending that you buy it because I do know, you know, Fenrir's coming in, you know, for the original print around $18 for the reprint. I think it's around nine, maybe $8, something like that. So I do know that it's a good chunk of money. But what I will say is if you have some extra money and you're interested in playing a little gambling game, Buying a couple Fenrirs might actually be a fun thing to do because you know if this card doesn't get hit, it's going up. This card will go up for sure. And I think Konami's not done cashing in on Fenrir. And I don't mean any pun by uh, cashing in. But I do think that Konami knows where the money comes from Cash, um, Fenrir will sell a product. Birth and Arise Heart, not so much, but Fenrir will. So for that reason alone, I'm going to say that Fenrir dodges the ban list, but Arise Heart and Birth both take a hit. So, you know, buying Ogres and building Cash Tira, that may not be something that you want to do right now. Um, I think Unicorn and... Um, uh, Fenrir um, are generic enough that you can play them in a variety of decks. So those are great cards. Probably Ogre too. Um, so th those are cards that I would be interested in. But Birth, uh, I really think that Birth is, is really going to take a hit on this ban list. Um, moving on from there. Um, well, that's going to bring us into the tens. There's a couple things er, into the rarity collection but there's a couple things i want to say about um uh, just uh, about the ban list um and that is when the ban list drops if there are cards that are in the tins that are not on that ban list they are going to go up especially if they're cards that were speculated to be on the ban list that's one of the reasons the tins are hurting so much for value is because there's so many cards in there that might get hit on the ban list. But if they don't, if they dodge it, if Lebellion dodges the ban list, if Fenrir dodges the ban list, um, if the Runing cards dodge the ban list, those cards will go up. There's some other cards that I would just be aware of ban list wise because they could get hit cards like dimensional barrier is a card people are talking about um dimensional shifter is another card people are talking about uh calamity although i don't think calamity is going to get hit particularly because it's in that structure deck but it's in that structure deck in a higher rarity it's a i think it's a super rare in that structure deck so to sell the structure deck, I don't think Calamity is going to get hit. There's, it's hard to get Calamity out, even even 
with uh, the cards that you can bring it out. It's still it's still not the easiest thing to do. So I do think Calamity has a chance of sticking around. Eradicator Virus is another card I would not be buying. Although I think that this card could dodge the ban list. And then two other decks that I just wanted to mention. One is Sprite. It could get hit with Blue potentially going to one or maybe two. Again, I know that doesn't happen very often, but Konami has talked about using the um, putting cards to two uh, more. So that is a potential. Um, so I would just be aware that Sprite might get hit as well. And then the last one, which I don't think is going to get hit, but people are talking about it, and that's Labyrinth. Um, with either Welcome Labyrinth or Big Welcome Labyrinth. Um, I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see Labyrinth doing enough to actually warrant getting hit. So I I would not think that that's going to happen. Um, but it's a possibility. All right, moving on from there, uh, you get into the Rarity Collection. And the main thing I want to point out about this is that the Rarity Collection is an OCG import. So it's a product that was made in the OCG that's coming over to the TCG. And that product doesn't always translate as it was in the OCG. Meaning the TCG, they take out some cards sometimes and they replace them with other cards. But by and large, the, the cards that were in the OCG product probably will be in the TCG product. So you might say to yourself, well, how do I know what was in the OCG product? Well, first of all, we opened that product on this channel. So you can go back to that video. But there's a better video that you could go back to, and I'm actually sending you to somebody else. Robbie uh, did uh, M Cole 40 did a video. Um, and it's called uh, the Rarity Collection Spoiler. If you type that in, it's gonna pop up, and he gives you all of the cards on a sheet that are in the Rarity Collection, the OCG. And that's a good chance that most of those cards are going to get reprinted in the TCG Rarity Collection. At least that's what we think. So if I were you, I would take note of that sheet. I have that, that video saved in my favorites. I go back to it all the time. Every time I'm buying a staple card or recommending you to buy a staple card, I go back to that sheet and make sure that it's not on that sheet. So I would be doing that. It's a great video that Robbie put out. I highly recommend you looking that up and using it so that you're not buying these cards. Uh, but I'm going to go through a couple of them. And the first one I've already... I've already showed you, is Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, this is a card that is in the OCG Rarity Collection. You can see it's not a cheap card. If you don't have the card, I would wait. I would wait the month and a half uh, until the Rarity Collection comes out and you'll be able to pick this card up in Super Rare, Ultra Rare, Secret Rare, uh, Ultimate Rare, Collector's Rare, um, the um, Quarter Century Rare, as well as Extra Secret Rare. Seven different rarities this card is going to get reprinted in. It's going to annihilate the value of this card. I would not be buying anything that is rumored to be in the rarity collection, especially a card as pricey as Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, moving on from there is another one, Pot of Prosperity. And the main reason I want to talk about this is the Rarity Collection and there are rumors that this card could also get limited or at least go to two in the TCG. So there are two reasons to avoid this card. And this is a pricey card coming in at the cheapest around $30.00. We have seen this card fall in price. It hasn't fallen in price because it's not used. It hasn't fallen in price because it somehow became not good. 
It's falling in price because many people know that there's a good chance it either gets limited or it gets reprinted in the rarity collection. It might get both. So I would not be buying this card. This is the main card I would stay away from and that's why it's on the thumbnail. Now, picking up one, it's fine, uh, but you're gonna be able to get a lot of this card and this card's gonna fall out pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, another one is Infinite and Permanence. Again, for two reasons. I believe this card is getting a reprint in the structure deck coming out after, um, I forget what it's called. Um, you all know what it's called. Uh, it's not the Red Dragon structure deck, the Fire King structure deck. I believe that, that Imperm is getting a reprint in there. And if you remember going back to the Cyber Dragon structure deck, got a reprint in there as a super rare. I think that this is gonna get a reprint as a common. It will be very accessible. That's my idea on Infinite and Permanence as well. It's going to get a reprint in the rarity collection. So I would definitely not be buying imperms. Um, Lightning Storm is another card I would be staying away from. But I do want to tell you what I've done with Lightning Storms. And I've done this with a variety of cards. Um, so I would not be buying Lightning Storms unless you're buying the collector rares. Um, because the collector rares have fallen out. I bought a playset of Lightning Storm Collector Rares. I bought a playset of Lightning Storm Pot of Desires, also uh, thought to be in the Rarity Collection. Uh, I have bought a playset of the Collector Rares that are going to be in the Rarity Collection because I love Collector Rares. So I don't care if, if I pull these in the Rarity Collection. Collector rares are the ones that I want to play and they fall into a level that's pretty cheap and I'm comfortable doing it. But the regular uh, lightning storms, I would definitely be staying away from them. Um, I don't know why my video is cutting out. Um, all right, another one is Forbidden Droplet. Great card, gonna come back into the meta once Cash Tier is gone. This card will become relevant again, but I would not be buying it until you get the Rarity Collection because chances are it's going to be in there. Reprint it in seven different rarities. That's gonna kill the value of these. You're wasting your money if you buy this card. Um, Let's see if I got one more up here. Um, no, um, I just brought this up to remind myself to talk about it. The one, the one thing I want to end with is if you do have some extra money and you're interested in taking a chance on something, Fenrir might be a decent buy. My name's Todd from Co2 Cards, and I am out of here.